Hello, today's Bible study comes from the book of Acts, chapter 23, verses 23 through 35, and reads as follows. Then he called two of his centurions and ordered them, Get ready a detachment of 200 soldiers, 70 horsemen, 200 spearmen. Go to Caesarea at nine tonight. Provide horses for Paul so that he may be taken safely to Governor Felix. He wrote a letter as follows. Claudius Lysias, to His Excellency Governor Felix, Greetings. This man was seized by the Jews and they were about to kill him. But I came with my troops and rescued him, for I had learned that he is a Roman citizen. I wanted to know why they were accusing him, so I brought him to their Sanhedrin. I found that the accusation had to do with the questions about their law, but there was no charge against him and deserved, that deserved death or imprisonment. When I was informed of a plot to be carried out against the man, I sent him to you at once. I also ordered his accusers to present to you their case against him. So the soldiers carrying out their orders took Paul with them during the night and brought him as far as Antipatris. Antipatris. The next day, they let the cavalry go on with him. While they returned to the barracks, when the cavalry arrived at Caesarea, they delivered the letter to the governor and handed Paul over to him. The governor read the letter and asked what province he was from. Learning that he was from Cilicia, he said, I will hear your case when your accusers get here. Then he ordered that Paul be kept under guard in Herod's palace. Uh-oh, Paul is being protected. He's being transferred with an escort. Told you the Lord was going to provide. And how did he provide? He said, prepare 200 soldiers, 70 horsemen, and 200 spearsmen who would escort Paul out of Jerusalem because he still got to go to Rome. And God was showing his faithfulness to Paul. And without a, any reason for Paul to ever doubt, he was li listening, seeing, living the promise of Jesus, and he were, was protected. And then they provided mounts to set Paul on, horses for Paul to sit on, and bring him safety to Felix, the governor. So he escaped Jerusalem alive, but he was doing it without having to walk just riding a horse out of town with protection, with a group of people covering his back. And then, of course, they wrote the letter, and it says, I rescued him having learned that he was a Roman. Lysias is telling him, I know Paul's a Roman citizen, um, and I found it out right away, and he hadn't done anything. And... Hey, he was almost beat down and scourged just for interrogation, just for them to talk to him. He hadn't done anything, though. So what did he say in the next line? Had nothing charged against him deserving of death or chains. We shouldn't have locked him up. We shouldn't have imprisoned him. Paul's trial, Paul's situation, shows that they had judged Paul guilty, or not guilty, rather, and he was still locked up and in prison. There was no true reason, there was no true charge that was brought against Paul. The problem was they didn't believe what Paul was saying. They were angry what Paul was saying. But Paul was speaking the truth. So, with all this being said, why was he locked up? Why were they plotting to kill him? They were angry Jews. They were upset with what he was saying. Remember, even the Sadducees didn't like what he said. So, the Lord provides. And Paul arrives to Caesarea, and they took Paul and brought him by night to Antipatris. And that's as far as the 200 soldiers went. And the main reason, because this was a, 
a tough piece of road to be going on. This was a bad piece of road. So they also presented Paul to him. And Paul, Paul got out of Jerusalem and he made it to the coast. And that way, those assassins, those killers that wanted to kill him, the 40, it failed. So Paul was protected. So Paul gets to Caesarea and he's waiting there. And it says when he understood that he was from Cilicia. Mm. Felix had to hear his case. Felix was the right one to take him to for vision, for, for vision. And Felix had to hear his case. He wasn't from a place that Felix could say that's not for me to hear. He was from his case. So he tells him, I will hear you when your accusers have come. Now, this was a high level, the first level of high level of authority that Paul was going to get to speak to the governor. And this starts truthfully with the fulfilling of the promise made to Paul. You remember when it said he will bear the king's names or the name of Jesus to kings? Um, hold on, back in Acts 9 and 15. But the Lord said to him, Go for the he is a chosen vessel of mine to bear my name before Gentiles, kings, and the children of Israel. So Paul is going right up the ladder. And he commanded him to be kept in Herod's praetorium. And this was, in case you didn't know, this started the two-year period where Paul was in Caesarea confined. Um, and then he went to Rome, but he was he was there for two years. And the next situation is Paul is going to be here for two years. But remember, remember this if you don't remember anything else. The Lord always provides. If you are faithful, if you are obedient, and you wait on the Lord, he will provide for you at all times. And Paul waited and got provision. Amen.